Hey guys, it's me, Poppy Green here, and we're gonna do some more tag videos. I was gonna do this roommate one, but I might not now because he's not he's not sitting right here. Okay, get to know me tag. Okay, let's see. Do I have any brothers? Yes. I have an older brother. He's 11 years older than me. So he's going to be 38 in July. And my, yep, he's married. My sister-in-law is already 38. They have my nephew, Andy. Who will be two in September and they are expecting another little boy in December. Do I have any sisters? No. What's my favorite food? Cheese. What kind of phone do I have? I have an iPhone 11 Pro. iPhone 11 Pro, I believe. I think it's Pro. Do you speak any other languages? I can speak a little bit of French. I took French in 8th, 9th, and 10th grade, but I'm terrible at it. I can speak a little bit of ASL. I took ASL for a year in college, semester in college, and then my senior year I took ASL. I can speak a little bit of Yiddish. So I have a book called If You Can't Say Anything Nice, Say It in Yiddish. I can also speak Pig Latin if that counts, but I don't think it does. What's the weirdest thing you eat? I eat a lot of weird stuff. I eat horned melons, which people say are weird. Um, if you don't know what that is, you can Google it. I don't know. It's about the weirdest thing I can think of currently. Because most of the things that people find weird that I eat are not weird. Like, a lot of my coworkers were grossed out that I eat, like, the Star Kiss tuna pouches. I just eat it right out. Like, they think tuna's gross. Whatever. No. Where was I born? I was born in New York. Born and raised in New York. What's my favorite hobby? Either dancing or a doll club. I think. What is your favorite subject in school? I hated school. I don't think I really had a favorite. Hold am I? So, depending on which age you're going by, my little age is two. My normal adult human age, I just turned 27. Where do you see yourself in five years? No clue. What's my favorite color? Hot pink. The best job I've ever had. I've only had a couple real jobs and the rest were volunteer jobs. So the best volunteer job I ever had. Probably when I worked at Vacation Bible School at the church I grew up in. The best babysitting job I ever had. I think it's a tie between the family that I just lost the babysitting job from because of COVID and the first real family I ever babysat for. Because they were awesome to work for. I mean, I had a lot of issues with them, though, just for the simple fact that they usually spent their date nights going to the casino. And they would tell me they were going to get back at one time and get back at a different time. And that was always fun. Having to stay. The one day I stayed till like 3 a.m. It was back when I was a new driver and horrible, horrible, horrible. Way worse than I am now, night driver. My dad didn't like me being out that late because 3 a.m. is when all the drunks go out. Uh, they're out on the road. My favorite 
I've only had two legit jobs. I like them both about the same, honestly. What's the worst job I've ever had? Oh, no, I've had three legit jobs. Sorry. The worst... The worst volunteer job I ever had... Was... Probably one of the ones I had to do for school. It wasn't even that it was bad. It was that it was just boring. The worst babysitting job I ever had. Again, I didn't really have any that were like horrible. Just I had a couple that were kind of flaky. Like I watched one of the kids that went to the daycare. I watched him for like a month and a half. Then they couldn't afford to keep me anymore. Then I had another babysitting job that was by my house, but like I hated it because the girl was like 10, I think. They lived a couple streets over from me. And the thing I hated most though, is a lot of times they would ask me like an hour or two before they needed me to come babysit. And like, I'd sit there and play a game with her for like an hour and then she'd go to bed and I'd sit there for the next hour or two doing absolutely nothing another job I hated was I had this babysitting job it was a one time deal I literally babysat one time their dog was obnoxious I think he was a boxer or a pug I think it was a boxer and their dog was obnoxious Second of all, this girl was obnoxious. She was maybe 10. She had the mind of like a seven year old because she was born preemie. She had delays. It was a lesbian couple. The girl just irritated me. Like she really wanted to go to the park. Kept bugging me to go to the park. I'm like, I can't just take you to the park. Cause there's a park down the road from her house. Like, I'm not just gonna walk you to the park. She complained to her parents how I didn't walk her to the park, whatever. And they're like, you could have taken her to the park. I'm like, well, no one told me that. So why would I just randomly take your daughter to the park without anybody knowing what I'm doing, where I'm taking her? Then, she conned me into staying up later. She, like, refused to go to bed, wasn't asleep when they got home. I got bitched at because she wasn't sleeping when they got home. She was, like, fighting me. The whole thing was a disaster. She just irrit like she irritated me. And then again, with my real jobs, I'm gonna say honestly, my church job that I have now, it's not bad. It's just I work. I have to be there at eight fifteen to twelve fifteen. First service, I almost never have kids. Second, during Sunday school, I might once in a blue moon have like one child. If all three of the teachers are there for the Sunday school class, that's ages four to first grade, I believe. Then there's nothing for me to do. Because obviously I'm not needed. I'm just extra. But a lot of times, like if there's only one teacher there or two teachers, then I'll still go in there anyways. You know, they really don't need me if there's two teachers. They really don't even need three teachers for that room. Because... The most kids are ever is is five. So one day I literally got in trouble for not going in there. Because she was in there by herself. There was one child. Like I know the rule is you're not supposed to be left alone with one child. Just, you know, CYA pretty much. Even though like in a daycare setting or anything, you can be left alone with one child. Because it's a church, you know, they just take extra precautions. And then I'll sit there for half of a second service. And then I have one, maybe two kids, second service. 
because they can't because they're older, so they can't come till after children's sermon, which is halfway through service. So, like I said, it's not that it's bad, it's that it, and I don't get paid very much. I get paid fifty dollars a day. After taxes, I make ninety nine dollars every two weeks at that job, so it's not really worth it. The experience is about the only thing worth it. What sports do I play? I don't play sports. Dancing doesn't count in sport. Therefore, I do not play sports. Would you rather live in the city or the country? I like where my dad lives. Where I grew up. It's right outside the country. It's like right in between country and city. It's... In the country enough that, like, we have woods and animals and stuff in our backyard, whatever. But it's not so far out in the country that you're in the middle of nowhere. It's literally town in any direction. Five, ten minutes tops. Depending, like, if you're trying to go to, like, the smaller Walmart, it's, like, five, ten minutes. If you're trying to get to a grocery store, there's an Aldi's and a Weiss within five... 10 minutes of our house. Like, most things, like, any essential things. Like, there's three grocery stores within 10 minutes of our house, plus a Walmart within 10 minutes. There's restaurants, there's doctor's offices, vet's offices, all the major stuff. There's, like, there's several pharmacies, like, I mean, obviously, like, if you want, like, bigger things, like, more chain restaurants and stuff, you have to drive 15, 20 minutes, you know, whatever, 15 minutes, not bad. So, I really like that. Like, here at my boyfriend's, I'm right in the city. I mean, we do have some stuff, don't get me wrong, within 10 minute radius. I'm going to go back to the daycare. Daycare is like a three-minute drive. And daycare reopens. We've got... Three Weisses. Within a ten-minute radius. From here. Even we pretty much just go to one Weiss. It's like almost... That's right by my... The daycare. We have a liquor store within 10 minutes. We have three pharmacies within 10 minutes of us. We have a Rite Aid, a Walgreens, and a CVS. We have a family dollar. We have two family dollars, Dollar General, within 10 minutes of us. We've got, like, you know, we've got a walk-in within 10 minutes of us. We've got a lot of the basics within a 10 minute radius of us, but I just don't like being in the city, even though where he lives isn't too bad. Do you have any animals? I have a kitty, but you guys all know this, that she's been in many videos, talked about her many times. And then you've heard me talk about the other animals in the house. I live with one other cat now. You guys have not met because she pretty much hides in a crazy dog. And the other cat we had to give back to my boyfriend's mom because it's just too much for her here. She's used to the peace and quiet. Here it's just too loud. So she would get really nasty. She'd attack the dog, attack the other two cats, try to attack the baby, try to escape outside. So it was just better for her to spend... Her last remaining little bit of life back with his mom. My favorite ice cream flavor, that changes a lot. It's summer, so I can only ice cream from my favorite ice cream shop. Or a big Panda Paws fan. Zodiac sign is Gemini. Have you ever had surgery? Two. Nothing major. All outpatient procedures. Ear tubes when I was in fourth grade. And then... The year Deadpool came out on February 
11th, I think it was. It's either 11th or 12th, I can't remember. I got my wisdom tooth removed, which is technically surgery because they had to cut part of my jaw open and they put stitches in, whatever. Who's my favorite YouTuber? Eh, depends on what I'm watching on YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTubers. The main, I mean, I have a lot of YouTube ones that I follow, but the main ones I watch are Sandwich and Lollipop. They're an ABDL couple. Riley Kyle Bingman. He's got a couple channels. He's got Riley Kyle Ding Riley Kyle Bingman. He's got Riley's Little Space. I can't remember the name of his other channel. He has three channels. Um, I watch Manda. I can't remember Manda's channel name. I watch Purple Stars Red 2, Kayla. She does a lot of lip glosses. I watch Bre Breath Kiss, Kelly. She does a lot of, she's dumpster diving. Um, I watch a couple Canadians. I watch Michaela, or Kayla. I don't remember Kayla's YouTube. She's a lot, like she's just random stupid crap. I watch Derek Gerard. And jazz to do. They're really good. Um, I watch a lot of Mindy Minx and Larry Lynx. Both of their channels. I watch a lot of Mommy or My World. You can go check them out. Um, I watch a lot of Toy Caboodle. Um, I watch Georgia Kraken. Or Georgia dragon or whatever i can't remember george's last name she changed it. it was makeup junkie g um i watch jude i watch a bunch of random different things i watch hell billy j i watch billy you so crazy um, I watch Gummy Pom Pom, I watch Little Moo Moo, Little Lola Cat, just a bunch of random things, just depends. That's all for this one, I'm gonna go catch you on the flip side, bye.